case reminds us of another disturbing discovery that happened about seven years ago. On February 2nd, 2012, Gina Rose Vendinia was going through some trash bins near Kukui Gardens in Kalihi, where she lived. I look for bottles and cans to recycle, and I give them away to, to the old people. She says she found a few recyclables, but also... I saw the little plastic Ziploc bag, and I thought, we're ginger root. I'm starting to dry out. I was going to, you know, I'm a gardener. And then I recycle, and I thought I might be able to restore them, so I threw them in my purse. Then, later that day, she took the bag out of her purse. Oh, I was drinking a soda, and I just, I knew for a fact that those were fingers when I seen the fingernails. Yeah. And the people that I showed it to tried telling me that it was, and it might be monkey fingers. And I thought, just by chance, I'm going to call the police department, turn them in, and let them decide. Forensic testing showed the fingers belonged to a child between two and five years old. The child's gender and ethnicity could not be determined. All the information that was brought in, it was cross-checked, yes, um, with missing persons and everything. And again, it came up to nothing. So we're really heavily relying on the public out there to come forward and somebody has to know something. I mean, it's not normal to find fingers in a dumpster. To this day, Honolulu police say they've never determined who the fingers belong to or how they got there. So for now, the case remains unsolved.